welcome to Gimme Shelter. I'm Robin Kipp. And I'm Harvey. Now, today we're on a really interesting site. Major renovations going on at this house. The original part, the stone part, built in about 1740. Then in the 1940s, they did an addition. But now we're adding major space with a really great new addition in the late 1990s. And the homeowners are putting together their dream house piece by piece. A conservatory is going in, a gothic door, and a dumbwaiter. It's incredible. And we get to see all these pieces come together in one terrific house. Let's go. Now we're here with Mop Prime, who is the uh, homeowner. But more than the homeowner in this project, she's really involved in this. You're the general contractor, right. Bob, yep. as well as uh, participating in the design, although right. you have used the services of an architect. And after all this time, we finally up to some framing here. Uh, must be a relief to see the sticks in place. Very and, uh, exciting. It's to uh, see finally what we're, uh, the structure is going to look like. Tell us where we are right now. This is a master bedroom. Okay. You're going to use a lot of this upper floor for the master bedroom suite. All of this room is a master bedroom. The rest of the floor is master bath and dressing room. There's a really interesting feature going in over here in the master bedroom. Is that where the dumb waiter is going? Yes. Let's go downstairs and take a look at where that starts. Okay. All right, now, Mop, we're uh, entering what's going to be the kitchen, right? This is the kitchen, yeah. All right. And but we're not obviously finished framing up in here. No, we have ways to go with this. All right. And we're walking into the hallway here and into this back area, which is a service area for laundry and okay. pantry and so forth. And this yes. would I uh, presume to be the dumbwaiter. That's the dumbwaiter. That's exactly where it's going to come. Well, now, Mop, that's something you don't often see in a house. What's the deal behind the dumbwaiter? The dumbwaiter is because I have a husband that's very spoiled, and he gets breakfast in bed. And well, I you also know you're only encouraging him with this sort of behavior. I know, but it's fine. I like it. Oh. And I have laundry here so that I can put laundry and bring it in here and bring it to the second story and it's not a big deal carrying it up and down. Well, I feel better. This way he's, he's either going to get breakfast or dirty laundry up there, so he doesn't know which one. <laughs> Whatever. Now, one of the unique features the homeowners are putting in is a dumbwaiter. We're actually right now entering the pantry, and this is one of the reasons that Mop is going to be having a dumbwaiter in the first place. She wants to be able to take food, maybe breakfast in bed, and bring it up to her husband in the master bedroom suite, which is right upstairs. It's also great for laundry, so you don't have to carry everything down the stairs. This is Larry Wright of Powerlift. It's a company that actually makes dumbwaiters custom to your home depending on the size or whatever. Now this is a pretty traditional size and kind of, this is the car. This is a standard car. The machine, like an 18 foot machine, comes in three six foot sections. What we're gonna do is pass the sections down to here, stacks in place, put the chain on, put the car on, it's done. It's Sounds very, simple. very, very simple, very simple. So we'll need a hand upstairs. Yes, we will. Harvey, you up there? Hey, somebody call for a dumb waiter? <laughs> Can you give us a hand? We're gonna oh, you be... betcha. We got another section up here, Robin. All righty. You want it to come down now? Um, what do you think, Larry? I think we're ready. Okay. Don't drop it. Here we her, go. Huh? Here we All go. All right, it's coming down to you. Now you'll see these posts. They fit right up in there. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Line it up. Okay. Get your fingers out. Okay. Lift it up just for a second so I get this block out. Get the two out. by four out. Okay. Okay. Down. There we go. So this installation process is fairly uh, easy. Yeah. My father really well thought it out. It's really simple. I mean, that, I guess the biggest chore would be is just stacking them in place. Is so, really all there really is. And there's one more piece upstairs. There's one more piece upstairs we still have to do. Let's go upstairs. Let's do it. Okay, Harvey, how can we give you a hand? Well, we're going to spin this around. It's still not facing the right direction. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's, uh... Go I can guide it from here because... All right. Ready, Larry? Yep. Yeah. we can get it lined up here. Got to come straight down. Watch your fingers down there, Robin. Right, yeah, there I'm, you I'm go. I'm in. Good. All right. There you go. Set it down. All there right. Go. Okay, now all you need to do is uh, disconnect all the ties. The most important thing is there's a red tie at the top that you do not want to cut at this time because that holds the chain in place. So what we're going to do is unwrap this. Now, 
this chain is leading right down to the motor that's down below. Correct. Larry, am I going to get to see this thing work today? Yes, you will. You're kidding? Guaranteed. All right. Very simple. Once you get the chain down, we go, we're going to go downstairs now, hook up the trolley, put it on the car, it's done. All right, now we just need to connect everything down here where the motor is. Yep, very simple. We already lowered the chain, so the two things we need to do is we need to hook up the bottom and the top of the trolley. Well, this is the motor and this is the sprocket that drives the unit itself. First, put one bolt down like this. And this goes up through here. Start that. Now you're clamping it with those needle nose pliers? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to put the car on. Stick it in there through the hole. Get it on the trolley like so. All right, the car is secured by two bolts, and we're just making sure that they're fastened tightly. Okay, and later on, we're going to encase this dumbwaiter with drywall, and then Mop will come back and pick out a nice door, whichever one she prefers. And there you have it. So all we have to do is have Harvey cut that red tie, and we're ready to run. You got it, Harvey? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Wait, we're going to send you something up for all your help. You really going to see this yeah. thing work, huh? Absolutely. All right. All right. <laughs> wow. I think it's working, right?